Hi everybody and welcome back to Small Ride 2 here on this channel. I'm KPG Gooner here and in today's episode guys we're starting our first championship. Now like I told you in a previous episode these championships start opening up as you work your way through all the different tours. Now as we were working through our full walkthrough I thought why not do the championships as well. It's a good way to earn credits and new fights because you get rewards as well. So they're going to start opening up as they go along. So we're going to run this in a separate series because it's going to take a while to open up all these different uh, championships. But the one in today's episode is going to consist of four races um, and it's the one that earns the most points that wins. Now the first one we're doing is on the two stroke with 300 performance points. So we're going to get straight into it now guys. So here we go. Right, so this uh, championship is going to consist of four races, and the winner after four races gets 15,000 credits. And if you look at the two bikes down the bottom, you get to choose one of them as well. So it's a good way to start building up your garage as well. But let's get into the first race. Now, looking at those circuits, there's some real different uh, sort of circuits, a real mixture. We're going to be using the Aprilia RS250 as well. So let's get straight into it, guys. This could be brilliant. Right, so here we go with our first championship race. Let's just quickly check out our opponents and what other bikes. Oh, there's quite a few Aprilias, Kawasaki's, Honda, Suzuki's. Oh, so it's quite a mixture. Let's just check out the regulations. Basically, oh, it's pretty straightforward. Whoever wins the most, uh, gets the most points per race is the one that becomes champion after the four races. That's pretty straightforward. Hopefully, we can achieve it. Let's get straight into the first one. Right, so here we go with our first championship race. Now, this Italian circuit can be really tricky. Some of the corners are hard to take, but hopefully we should be okay on this bike. Plus, guys, I am going to start showing you the setups when I have to do loads of adjustments on the bikes. Definitely going to do that in future videos, so don't worry. Plus, I will start changing the views up. A few of you have asked to do some different views, so we will be doing that as well. And that's not a bad line through there. Got a good drive. Let's try and get a nice tight line. Now, this uh, RS250 handles pretty well. So this should be okay, hopefully. I haven't made, like I said, any uh, many, many adjustments on this bike, but when I do on some of the bigger bikes, I will show you what setups I use, not just on the suspension, but uh, on the gear changes as well. So let's see if we can get a nice line on to that corner. Now this one coming up is quite tricky. When you flip it over to the left, let's try and slow it down. It always throws the AI up. See, they don't like it either. It's really, really tricky. And we just managed to hold on to that. Let's try and get a nice tight line into this corner. Bit of contact there as we try to squeeze through. And now we've got a rider that's just starting to try and pull away. You find that on this level, you get a couple of riders that just pull away from the group early on. And those are the ones you've got to try and keep up with. So it's really important you try and get to the front as quick as possible. Because if you get held up on the first couple of laps, it's so tricky to try and win the races. But hopefully we can catch him. He's starting to pull away. I'm not sure what bike that is. He's on, but uh, let's see if we can get a nice line into this next corner. It's not bad. Let's try and keep it nice and tight. And flip it over. Just get a nice drive. A little bit of curb there, but just managing to stand it up and give it a good drive. Now, this uh, Aprilia is pretty damn quick, so we should be able to get past okay. And that's not a bad first lap. Let's try and get a nice tight line into this and just try and take our chances. No, we've gone out a little bit wide on that corner. We're trying our hardest to try and be as tight. The AI is so good in the corners. I must admit, that's one of the improvements a uh, milestone have made. The AI is so much harder to beat around these sort of circuits. They take awesome lines. Uh, they leave their braking so much later, so you really have to push yourself. It does up your uh, your skill level. Really trying it, and we really struggled through that section. I uh, got a little bit too much curb there. That really slowed us down. But we're really struggling to keep up with this bike in front. We're going to have to try and improve. Really struggled as we try to turn into there. Slightly under steering. Uh, which uh, require a slight a little bit of a tweak, but nothing major. Let's just try and get a good drive out of the corner. Not that great, but let's try and get a nice line into that corner, and that's much better. That's much tighter into that corner, and try and get a good drive onto the straight. Let's try and get in his slipstream. We've got to try and get past him soon because we're going into the last lap. Now, these races are pretty quick, so we've got to try and dive up the inside, can we? Can we get a nice line into there? He's gone slightly wider. We've gone up the inside. Please don't knock me off. Uh, try and flip over. Don't touch the back of my wheel. Now, I have noticed, guys. Oh, God, I think he just touched my back wheel then. No, I think that was just me just trying to turn into that corner. Now, I have found in some of the races that the AI do tend to run right behind you into the corners and slam you off your bike. Um, that has been one little bit of frustration, um, I'd say, about the game, that the AI do tend to uh, use you as a bit of a braking system because when they do it, they don't come off as well, which is really frustrating. Sometimes you can crash into a bike and take it off, but uh, if it's the other way around, they never seem to come off. It's really, really strange. But uh, anyway, we're in the lead and again struggled on that section. 
really struggled to flip it over there, but we managed just to just control it. Right, slow it down. This corner can be tough. We've gone slightly wider. Is he going to come up the inside? He's still pretty close to me, so we've still got to be aware that he might come up the inside. The AI really pushed on the last lap. Um, they've done that on quite a few, and we're only, only just in the lead, guys. This is going to be a, such a close championship, I tell you. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, Donington, though. That's one circuit I do like, especially as I've done a track take down there in real life. So it's a circuit I do love, so hopefully we should do okay on that one. But uh, coming up is another Italian circuit after this one. So um, we've got to try and get through these two and try and get the maximum points. A nice line into there. And I do believe the next circuit coming up as we go into the last section to hopefully win this one. Yeah, the next circuit is a race, uh, a circuit that we raced the um, Supermotos round. And I just can't imagine racing one of these bikes around there. So that's going to be challenged, but we managed to get the victory. And now we're going to move on to the second track. And like I said, guys, it's a, a track that we did a Supermoto race around. It's got really, really unbelievably tight corners so i'm not sure how that's going to go but this is the difficulty we've got a right real mixed bag in this championship which makes it a little bit harder to win right let's get into the second race guys so here we go right so here we go with the second track on this uh, championship and do you remember this one guys we did on super motos i think on the second corner so many of the bikes crashed off because it's so tight this corner i'm not sure how it's going to be on the aprilia but let's see if we can get a good start and hopefully not come off and oh god the wheel up the wheel went up there because we're not using any anti-wheelie on this aprilia at all we turned all the aids off oh god that was tricky no, no one come off so that was okay we managed just to sneak through there just trying to just get a nice line oh god look at them they're all struggling to get around those corners let's take advantage of uh, the ai don't like this track and again oh, onto the bloody grass there I'm trying to stay on the track. Right, let's try and get a nice line through there. And again, another tough turn. And again, they're right on the curbs. Oh, I can see a few crashes uh, developing in this race. Let's just try and just stay away any, from any trouble. And that pretty just uh, dived up the inside of me. Let's just try and hold this position. So we're sitting in P4. It's not uh, a bad start on this first lap, but it's going to be tricky to catch up. Oh, God, what a corner that is. Oh, my God, that really threw me out. Oh, God, a bit of contact. Oh, and the wheel's gone up. Almost came off. There you go. That's my first little scare. And oh my god, how tight is that corner? And again, the wheel's gone up. Bloody hell. It's not the type of circuit you want to be racing one of these bikes around. This is really hard, but we've managed just to survive that first couple of sections. Right, let's get nice and tight there. And we just lost our place there. We just lost a bit of pace and not as tight into that corner. And we're coming to the end of this first lap, but that hasn't been too bad. Managed to just get past him in that corner, and we're up to P2. But the leader of this race, I think, is, is it another Aprilia, is really starting to pull away. Let's just try and get nice and tight. Now, this is the corner that everyone seems to really struggle on. So tight, but we just managed to get through there okay. But that is a tricky corner. Now, looking at the map, uh, the leading riders are starting to spread out a bit, which is good. Can we just pull away here? Can we get past this one and we managed to get up the inside there but i think he's going to dive up the next corner no we've managed to get into the lead awesome can we hold on to it though guys that is the thing let's try and get a nice line through there the right is sitting right on my shoulder we've got to be careful as the wheel goes up again really difficult to accelerate on a circuit like this because as soon as you turn into one corner you're turning back in the other way into another corner it's so tight but we're trying to hold a tight line to avoid any bites getting up the inside and that one really throws you out let's just try and be gentle on the throttle try not to come off right this corner's really tough as well look at the turn on that really struggled and onto the curb and accelerate oh god that is so challenging that one but we've got to be careful now these corners coming up at speed can be tricky to slow it down get a nice line in there try and hold it nice and tight not go too fast got a little bit wide into that corner but we managed just to pull it back in uh, but we've got a bike literally sitting right behind us so we've got to be careful it doesn't run us off into one of these slow corners and on to the uh, last lap guys can we win this this is a really tickle. Oh my God, he flew up the inside, but we got the inside line on that corner, which might be okay. Oh God, that was close. I thought he was gonna run me off, but luckily because he died past me, I managed to get it back up the inside in that next corner. But that's the difficulty guys. It's so, so hard to go past around these corners and you do run yourself a chance of getting run off. But luckily we've managed to pull away slightly now. Hopefully we can just get away so he doesn't run us off in any of these other corners coming up. We've only got a little way to go and we could get another victory, another Italian circuit and it could be another 15 points. And that could put us in a great position going into the next race, which I do believe is Donington. And that's an awesome circuit, so I'm looking forward to that one. God, 
Went a little bit too quick in there, just slowed it down. Been starting to just get the hang of this now. Let's try and slow it down, try not to go too tight into that one. And there you go. We're coming towards the final few corners and we've just pulled away slightly as well. Hopefully we can just finish this off and hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Nice and tight there. Don't go too fast. Oh God, went a little bit quick into that one. Oh God, almost went straight up the circuit there. And luckily there was no one behind me because that could have caused a major problem. But luckily we got away with that. Last corner and we should be okay. Up goes the wheel for a victory. Yes, we do. We take the victory. But only just got it. It was actually quite close behind us. That was probably a bit of a risk. But uh, we got away with it. So we get... Um, maximum points again guys and it's a shame you only earn a few credits per race it would have been good if you earned quite a decent lot of credits plus the reward credits as well but it's credits so you've got to just take it right we're just going to jump into uh the standings and just check the points and see who's where and then we will get straight into the next race so we're jumping to that now guys so here we go so we're sitting pretty at the moment uh hopefully we should be all right let's get into the next race so here we go Right, so here we go with Donington at National Circuit. Now, I've actually done a track day around this circuit on a CBR 600 F3. It was so much fun, guys. Definitely give it a go if you like your track days. Right, let's get into this race. This is going to be slightly faster. It's a much faster circuit than the first two. Let's see if we can get some more points on the board. And off we go. And, oh, that front wheel. Oh, I had a bit of contact from behind as we pulled off. And the wheel kicked up. But let's see if we can get into that first corner. And see if we can take a few places. Let's try and get nice and tight. Oh, bit of curb there. But we managed to get nice and tight into that corner. And we've got a good drive out there. That's awesome. Let's try and get past a few riders in these first couple of corners. Because we know this one will be pretty tough. And the riders in front are starting to pull away. And we're trying to drive it down the hill as quick as we can. Now you've got to try and slow it down onto the curb. Oh, God, slow it down. And a bit more curb. But we managed to hold the speed. Now, early on in this race, you've got to try and keep up with the leaders on the circuit like this because they will just start pulling away. Let's try and get a nice tight turn through there. Try and get it nice and tight to that apex. And they've gone out wide, so we definitely had a better line through there. Hopefully, we can catch up a bit. Let's try and get a bit tighter onto the curb through here. Slow it down. Oh, God, we ran a little bit too much speed. Oh, a bit more curb. Not as smooth as I would like through there, but we've managed just to get through there onto this straight. Now we've got to try and close the gap, get in their slipstream. Now coming up to this slow chicane before we get into the uh, finish straight is a very difficult section. If you've got a rider right behind you, let's get through there nice and smooth, get a good drive. Yeah, sometimes when you go into that section with a bike right behind you, they do try and take you up the inside and take you off. But we managed to get through there okay, and we're trying to get past this one here. Can we get a nice line into this next corner? We're trying to take the inside line. Can we muck them both in this corner? Yes, we do. Oh, awesome. So we're into the lead around Donington. Can we hold on to it, though, guys? That's the difficulty because they're pretty good on this circuit, on this level. So we've got to try and just hold on to it and be nice and tight into every single corner and try and avoid them taking us off. And we held the speed into that corner and kept it on the tarmac this time. We avoid going onto the curb. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, let's try and take a tighter line into this section. They're right behind me. I'm not pulling away at all. So we've got to be spot on into this net. Oh, God, just kicked out slightly, and he's taken an opportunity to go up the inside. Oh, did you see the bite, guys? The back end just flipped up there, and he took the opportunity to get past. Can we bite back into the next corner? Can we get nice and tight? Again, we've gone in through there. Not as quick as we like, and it's slightly understeering. I couldn't get through there fast enough. And we've lost a bit of pace, but hopefully we can gain a bit more time on him through this chicane. They go through it slightly slower than we did in the last lap. Let's see if we can get through a little bit quicker. Nice and tight. That's not bad. Oh, God, got a bit of curb there, but it wasn't good enough. Oh, God, it just kicked up. I think the back wheel just hit the back of the curb. And that has just lost us a bit, a bit of pace. And uh, we just lost a bit of time as well. That was a slower lap as well. So um, that's not that great. But we might be able to get him in this next corner. Going into this final lap. And again, we've touched the curb. We're losing a little bit of pace here. And we're going to have trouble to catch him up now. We're going to have to fly into these corners a little bit better now. We've got no choice. If we want to win this race, we've got to take a little bit more speed into this corner. Just try and hold the speed. And again, that wasn't as quick. And onto the curb. I think we are going to might have to settle for second place because he's definitely got a decent lead there and I can't see his gaining that sort of time 
in the remaining sections of this race. But that's just try and hold on to second and not make any mistakes. Oh, he's gone a little bit wider in that section. And he's got a little bit of curve. But I don't think we've got time to catch up. And we were slightly quicker at that split time. So this could be a faster lap. Can we go into this last section? Can we try and take him in the final corner? Uh, it's going to be a bit of a risk. And no, I don't think so, actually. Look at it. He's, he's pulled away again. But um, we did really well, guys. This is a tough circuit to win on. On... Um, realistic i must admit they do go into these sections pretty damn well and got a little bit too much curb there nice drive and there you go guys that's the final section and it looks like we're going to take second place and this is going to make it interesting going into the final race so we only get second place that's a little bit less points now he if he came second in the in the last two races it could be really interesting if he wins the final race we could have level points so this is interesting. So we're going to jump into the uh, standings and to see where he is. And uh, and we will get into the final race of this championship, guys. Let's get straight into the standings quickly. So here we go. Right. So, no, we're actually sitting uh, quite a few points ahead of him. That's lucky. But we still need to get a decent result in the final race. So let's get straight into it, guys. Right. So here we go with the finale on the Nurburg GP sprint circuit. Now, this one's really, really tough. Hopefully, we should at least get third place because that's what we're going to need to win the championship. So, we're going to have to aim to get at least top three. Now, we might take a wider line down this section because this corner down the bottom can be really tough. Even on a set of course, of taking cars around this section is tough. Let them do it on a bike. So, let's take a wider line. That's a little bit better. But try and get a good drive back up the hill. All that worked for us. And I didn't see any bikes get crashed off, which is good. Right, so that's not bad. We've taken a place there. So we're up to P5. And that was a good idea. We might have to take that sort of line into that section maybe um, at the start of every uh, lap if we need to. Right, let's get a nice line around this section. Flip it over. Get a nice drive. There's a bike right behind me. So we're going to have to be careful we don't get knocked off. Now, this next right-hand corner can be tough, so we're going to have to get a nice line. Let's take a wider line again to avoid getting crunched off in the inside. Yes, he's going to take that inside line. Try and get a nice drive. Oh, God, that worked out perfectly. We've got a nice drive, a bit of contact, then we slip past. Can we get up the inside here? And another great move. Oh, no, he's managing just to fight back. Is he going to take that in that line? Let's try and go around the outside. Or can we get up the inside? Really trying to push the bike. Let's try and get in his slipstream. We might be able to get past him on this section. Just try and hold that line. Don't get too close because they do like knocking you off on this game. And we've managed to slip past. Yes, and we've got an awesome drive. Can we take the uh, leader as well? But we're on the outside, so we're going to have to be careful going into this section. Oh, God, that was close. He went and dived up the inside, and we managed to go between both of them. What a pass, guys. What a double overtake that was. A bit risky, but it came off, and we've gone into that corner quite tight. Be careful. Don't want to come off now after that excellent pass. And we're in the lead on this finale race can we just bomb off and get the championship win but um like i said you've got to be careful wins this corner coming up we're gonna to take a little bit of a wider line just so we don't get crashed off let's just try and hold a little bit wider and turn it in and that was pretty good we had a decent distance behind us so it wasn't too bad but when they're running right behind you i would advise to go a little bit wider so if they take the inside line they don't take you off now we're just uh, holding this lead, but they are still very close behind. So we've got to have to put in a decent uh, second lap here to try and pull a gap away into the final lap so we can just relax and hopefully take the championship. But guys, there's going to be quite a few championships uh, in this uh, series. I think there's 12 already um, on the game, but there is going to be some added. But they only unlock as you complete the tour. So this will be coming throughout the uh, career series that uh, well the walkthrough we're doing already as they open i will just carry on doing the championships but some of them i've got six races in so some of the videos are going to be quite long and i'm not sure if they're always going to involve just one bike but we will have to find out right let's get a nice line into this section and we're going into the last um couple of chicanes and corners of this lap and then we've got uh, the last lap to go let's try and get a nice speed through there that was nice and smooth and we're running pretty quick on this lap we're managing just to try and just pull away slightly which is always good going into the final lap let's just try and push it a little bit more it seems a quite a quick lap as well let's try and get a nice drive and onto the finish straight come on can we get to the final lap and have a decent gap 
and coming up to the time what time is it going to be and we've just done a 140.4 that's not bad and we've got a decent size gap behind us as well let's try and slow it down into this section we can go a little bit tighter now because we haven't got a bike really close behind us and let's see if we can finish this off now guys and see if we can bring it home for a victory now the next third uh, championship i do believe is on a uh, naked bike and i think the performance points is uh, 600 so um not sure what bike we will need for that but uh, hopefully by the time that's all open we will have quite a few to choose from and maybe i will put it to a vote at the end of uh, another video to what bike we use for the championship as well so i can mix it up guys i want you to be involved in all these series that i'm doing uh, with the views the setups the bikes um, everything guys so um, don't you worry i will try and get you involved as well uh, so thank you to uh, all of you for all the comments and all the likes and just in general guys you're making this series awesome right we're coming to the, the final sections of this race and we have had a superb race so far it's been a really good end to this championship and i was uh, actually worrying about this circuit after coming second around donington i thought this one would be extremely tough as well but we managed to have an awesome first lap and that set us up for the whole race now we have slowed down slightly on this final lap but it's, it's just a matter of backing off not make any mistakes and get the win right final corner there we go and drive it over the line hopefully for the championship win plus guys we go into the uh, having a look at what rewards we get we've got a choice between two bikes and uh, yes that is it guys we take the championship and that was awesome what a race that bike is awesome i really really do like that bike I wouldn't if i was going to get another two stroke i definitely would like to get one of these i had the 125 version but the 250 version's got that little bit more punch a little bit quicker and probably a lot better and more fun to ride right let's get into the results guys and then we will get into choosing our rewards so here we go so we get the championship so we get the 15,000 credits now to claim our reward so here we go um no, i wasn't i did actually take a quick look. i didn't have a good look at what bikes they were i think they were slightly older bikes so let's get into that oh that looks awesome yamaha and a suzuki rg500 oh no, no these are quite old i think these bikes are from the 80s these are really really old so we've got the choice of them let's have a look at their stats not bad 300 performance points all the suzuki's are slightly more powerful got more performance points all but i haven't i don't really have any yamaha or suzuki um should we go i think i'm gonna go with a suzuki not just because it's more, more performance points but we haven't had a suzuki yet and i definitely want to try one so we're going to do that because yes we have got a yamaha we've got an r6 so we haven't got a suzuki so this is our first suzuki to add to our garage and it's quite a nice style. I like the way the exhausts go underneath the fairing. That's awesome. God, it's bloody noisy as well. Right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. So next up in the next championship, when it opens, is going to be this one. Thank you so much for the support in this series, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you soon for some more racing here on this channel. Thank you so much and bye-bye.